This week sees loads of releases for the Horus Heresy. Find out what's coming up for pre-order in this video. channel and in today's video we're going to talk about Sunday's reveals and what's coming up for pre-order on the Games Workshop website and all your independent retailers this Saturday. A point to note we have an Element Games link in the video description below. Please when these things go up on pre-order think about using that Element Games link because it directly supports the channel and we love you for it. Equally if you love these videos if you're liking this new format that we're doing please make sure you hit that subscribe um, icon in the bottom right hand corner and flick that bell on for all the notifications so you can get this news First hand, what we're doing is we're taking community articles and delivering them to you guys with some thoughts. So Sunday comes preview email. Gaze Workshop puts this particular article out every single Sunday and lets us know what's coming in the week ahead, what's coming up available for pre-order on their website. This week is quite a big one. They're chucking out a absolute ton of reinforcements for the Horus Heresy. And what's important is pretty much all of it can be used in Warhammer 40K as well. Now, predominantly we're seeing the classics that 40K players have always used in their armies in games of Warhammer 40K, but reinvented in plastic rather than the traditional Forge World resin. So what is coming up for release this weekend? Well, there's loads and loads and loads. So first of all, we're going to see for pre-order the plastic Psycharan battle tank, which is super nice. The article tells us it's got loads of options for the sponsors, four on each side, but it's the classic Psycharan that I absolutely adore coming out in plastic. That's amazing. Love that. Good news straight away. We're also seeing the Spartan tank that was previously only available in plastic in the Age of Darkness box set coming out as its own individual kit. Also super positive move, means you don't have to buy 40 Space Marines and 20 Terminators or whatever it is in the Age of Darkness box if you just want the Spartan. Really, really cool. We're also seeing another Leviathan being released. This is a strange one from Games Workshop. I kind of get why they've done it, but they're now releasing the new Leviathan with ranged weapons. And they're not linking that box in with the Leviathan with melee weapons. Don't know whether I do or don't love this because you can still field Leviathans with a single melee and a single range weapon. Now, if you want to do a Leviathan with, for example, a Storm Cannon and a Siege Claw, you're going to need to buy one of the Leviathans and then buy another weapon sprue. So it's not just the cost of the Leviathan, it's the cost of a weapon sprue as well if you want to mix and match. And there's another problem I've got that I'll go on to in just a second. The Leviathan with range weapons that will be available to pre-order this next weekend, it says it only comes with three weapon options. And if you look at the sprue on the community page, it looks like it only gets one Storm Cannon. It's that classic dual Storm Cannon Leviathan that we've all come to know, love, dread and fear in Warhammer 40k, where you'd need to buy the ranged weapon Leviathan plus an additional weapon sprue to be able to run two Storm Cannons. That's the only bit that I feel is a bit feels bad for me because it means you don't just have to buy the Leviathan with ranged weapons to be able to field the options available to, to the Leviathan range-wise. Get what I'm saying? I was also a little bit... Not 100% sure as to whether splitting out melee and ranged was the right choice. I guess it's a way of keeping the individual kit cost down. And it does mean you can pick up a Leviathan for probably a cheaper price. And you don't have tons and tons and tons and tons of spares. But it does mean that certain weapon options require you to buy at least a single Leviathan and a weapon sprue. On the plus side, they are releasing weapon sprues. So as we've already alluded to, you can buy the weapon sprues for Leviathan Dreadnought separately. Both ranged and melee. Which is a super positive choice. And and I definitely commend them for that. I'm sure the experts out there will find a way of magnetizing those particular weapons, allowing you to use lots of different weapon options by just picking up a single Leviathan and a spur or two, which is super positive and really key. It also means if you pick up a couple of Leviathans and a couple of weapon sprues, you've got a ton of options on how to kick out, kill out your dreadnoughts. Talking about extra weapon sprues, they're also doing this with the Contemptor Dreadnought, the plastic Contemptor that was available in the Age of Darkness. Not the rubbish one that was previously available, the rubbish plastic one previously available in Horus Heresy. This is the new Contemptor kit with all the different weapon options that was available in the Age of Darkness box. This is also now being released separately. And another positive move, they're also releasing the weapon arm separately. So if you've picked up the Age of Darkness box, you'll know already that that particular Contemptor gives you one of every single weapon choice, which is a lot actually you get quite a lot of options and it's quite nice however you'll also know from the rules that you can roll, run dual of each weapon and you 
don't get those options in the box. Well, now you can pick up the extra weapon sprue and you get access to those extra weapons. It's a really positive move. I'm kind of glad they're doing it. It means you don't have to buy two Contemptors, like people like me who have to buy two War Walkers to run one with dual shuriken cannons, which makes me a sad panda. They're also releasing two squads of Terminators. So the Cataphraki Terminators and the Tartarus Terminators or Tartarus Terminators are also coming out in their own boxes. Boxes of 10 as well, which is supremely positive. Amazing looking kits. Again, you can use them as Relic Terminators in your 40K armies. They're also releasing Armager Box with Heresy Heraldry. I'm assuming this isn't replacing the standard armager box and you'll be able to buy a 40K or a Heresy version if you want different stickers, basically, in your Heresy Age of Darkness. If that, do you care about that? Not sure that was needed, but you basically can buy armagers with a different pack of stickers in it. Finally, they're releasing for pre-order on Saturday the upgrades for Iron Hands, Iron Warriors, not Iron Hands, same, right? They're all the same. Iron Hands and Iron Warriors players, they're all the same. Iron Warriors upgrades, shoulder pads and heads, they actually look quite decent. Unlike the famed Space Wolf heads that came out recently, they look quite nice, quite decent. Um, you can also, I mean, there's also the option if you really want to, to pick up the characters you can get from Age of Darkness. They're basically the Lord of Contagion, because that's what he is, right? The Lord of Contagion. And the other guy with the sword, for me, they look a little bit too thick for Space Marine Praetors in Heresy, but I guess they're okay sculpts. You can pick them up separately, that's a bonus. You can get everything you can get in, a, in the Age of Darkness box now separately. That's a really positive move. It means you don't have to buy the whole box set if you just want reinforcements or if you want specific units. Not forgetting that almost all of these units are markless or, or heraldryless, so you can use them for heretics or loyalists or in your normal games of 40K for heretics or loyalists. Um, and a lot of them have data sheets in things like the Imperial Armour Compendium for 40k as well. So there's other things that will be available in this release. If you check out the Games Workshop community page, there's additional releases for things like Middle Earth Fantasy Battle Game. Interesting stuff, but not 40k focused, which is what we're focusing on at the moment. Like I said, please hit that element link in the description below, bookmark it, save it, and when this stuff goes on pre-order on Saturday, use that link so you can directly support the channel. And let me know in the comments below whether you're gonna be using this stuff for Heresy or 40k, which army you're reinforcing, which legion you're picking if you are looking at picking up uh, a new Heresy army and playing Heresy version 2.0. Super interested to know. Uh, again, if you do like these videos, please let us know in the comments below. Please keep sharing and supporting. It's amazing the support we're getting. And if you're not a subscriber of the channel already, please hit that subscriber button and hit that bell notification so you get notified every time we drop a video. And if you really love what we do here, please think about becoming a member of the channel and supporting us that way. You get access to a Discord server at the very bottom tier. £2 a month, access to a Discord server, come and hang out in our community. £5 a month, we give you members-only content as well. I'll be super happy to see some more of you join. It's amazing the community we're building already, and I'm very, very proud of it. So come and get involved. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.